A house of life is one of many old names for a Jewish burial ground. This cemetery is a testament to a thriving community of Jewish Londoners over the past 150 years. It's also a window into the lives of people buried here. It was originally sited in the countryside outside London, some distance from where Jews lived. Later, as the city expanded, an important Jewish suburb grew up around the cemetery. At one time, Wilsdon was the foremost centre of Jewish life in northwest London, and many who lived locally reserved a burial plot at the cemetery. In 1873, when the cemetery opened, the Jewish community wanted to emphasize their Englishness. The cemetery's original designs were intended to reflect fashionable garden cemeteries like London's Kensal Green and Highgate, which in turn were modeled on Père Lachaise in Paris. Elements of design unusual for Jewish cemeteries, torches, urns, and other Victorian funerary symbols, give us strong clues that this was a positive gesture in the direction of becoming English. Over time, the original design intention has become less visible, as the cemetery is now so densely populated and garden planting has given way to graves. Who is buried here? There are many merchants, manufacturers, bankers, politicians, even a prime minister. Doctors and judges, teachers, scientists, socialites and entertainers. Whole family dynasties, from local shopkeepers to businessmen and women. Also buried here are the Rothschilds. One of the most established Jewish families in the UK in the cemetery's early days and leaders of the community. The Rothschilds show how many prosperous families combine Jewish religious tradition with an upper-class English lifestyle. This newsreel from 1917 records the funeral of financier Leopold de Rothschild and the crowds who attended, which made headlines. Also among the nearly 27,000 people resting here are several generations of the community's revered spiritual leaders. Many of the most prominent burials are of clergy and officials of the United Synagogue. Four chief rabbis are buried here, more than at any other cemetery in Britain. This is a place where the rituals of funerals, burials and centuries-old ways of honouring the dead remain little changed. It's a place of living traditions, where around 25 burials a year take place and must be accommodated within 24 hours, in accordance with Orthodox Jewish practice. We hope this introduction will encourage you to explore the grounds and visit the funerary buildings to discover more of the history around you. Our friendly volunteers are here to help you make the most of your visit. And as you reflect among the memorials, Perhaps leave a pebble on one that has moved you. Welcome to the House of Life.